بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين الحمد لله about three four weeks ago I went to Umrah for the first time الحمد لله so today I will be sharing my experience so what is Umrah Umrah is pretty much it it's actually a pilgrimage to Mecca inshallah so, uh, I went with a group called Aqua Travel and I was told some of the reasons uh, going with, um, and some of the reasons of doing going in, in uh, groups. First of all, uh, the Aqua Travel is located in Corona, California. Uh, first of all, they are, they are one of the cheapest rate and one of the best qualities I know. Uh, also, the reason of one of the benefits of going to uh, Going in a group is to learn, and also you have the full experience, also a brotherhood, and etc. And also, also if you go in a group, what the beneficial is, I think it lost everything to the group leaders or the group will look for you. Uh, uh, versus going individually or as a family, or whatever, you know. So, uh, uh, the RP versus virtues of Umrah, first of all, have a lot. The first famous one is Abu Huraira radiallahu al qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said The performance of Umrah is exhibition for the sales committed between the previous one And the reward for Hajj is nothing but paradise And the second one is actually also by Abu Huraira He said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to set on a, to not set on a journey except for three mosques. What the, the first one is Masjid al, al, al Haram, which also the, uh, the mosque of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and Masjid al Aqsa. Of course, the Masjid al Haram is in Mecca. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mosque is in Madinah. And Masjid Aqsa is of course in Jerusalem. How to uh, the seven rewards? Allah, Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, One prayer in my mosque is better than one thousand prayer in any other mosque except Masjid Al Haram. So, for example, if you pray, you will turn to Sunnah or you will uh, maybe Salat Al Salat Al Ash. Has the issue? The people are giving me work a lot more. So, how about first of all, uh, the uh, what other thing I, I really recommend is to is to do online shopping in in Madila. Uh, it's it's much cheaper. It's many of the store owners, the people, they're more friendly. Uh, they are willing to negotiate prices with you, you know, etc. Also, another thing is the conversion rate is uh, three and a half real. It is actually one American dollar. Their jibba, there is the best jibba, etc. Okay, so kind of the foods also said I went with the group. Uh, some of the stuff for the food was kind of covered. Some wasn't. Habila, uh, Hilbaka, Madila, both the the breakfast was covered at the hotel. Well, it was actually, uh, which was a buffet. Uh, the at the dinner in Mecca was outside, but in Medina, it was covered. Uh, one of the things, uh, one of the benefits, benefits thing about food I put there because uh, some of the food in the U.S. Uh, is not Zabiha. Alhamdulillah, of course, it has a lot. It's uh, halal. I tried some of the food at McDonald's. Burger King, Carl's Jr. and Pizza Hut. Uh, one of the things I love about McDonald's over there is the, the, the chicken nuggets. It was amazing. One of the things I really hated was Big Mac. <laughs> it, it's, not, it's not hyped. It's good and it's hyped. Oh yeah, uh, I thought that some of the chicken wings was really good at Pizza Hut. So anyways, uh, the important the part, part of going to Umrah is the Arab. Many people think Arab is the clothes, but it's not. The word Arab is actually the state of mind. 
uh, one of the one of the benefits about wearing the two cloth is actually it's actually mandatory. It's also uh it also it shows you the picture right there uh, to the left where everybody is. It, you see, it, it doesn't matter if you're black, white, uh, Mexican, kids, little kids, you are or what he be. Here's is the picture. So the picture that we took for the group. I believe this one was from the hotel room. I mean, the hotels uh, I was in the area. Uh, this was actually during Salat time. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. One of the one of the how that uh, is anybody see this part right here? This little one right, right here. I I got to go in there. Uh, uh, I think it was it, it was jamming there. I saw that guy there. Wait, 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 wait. What is that? It's a place called Hatim. Yeah, Hatim, very It's a, it's a, the Kaaba used to be a full complete, but the, that's in this shell, like a bullet type of shell, in the bullet. Oh. So the people, they, when they were building the Kaaba, they said, we're going to build the Kaaba with our uh, halal money. And although they were pagans, but they had the desire to put the money clean when you build the house of Allah. So they put this structure and Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam started to build again and some suggested to complete it. Rasulullah said, no, leave it. The way they decided. So as it is. So, Habila, so what are the, I like to actually, uh, is, is, is one of the, I don't know, I did think I was told by Sheikh Abid Ubergin and by, and also the Sheikh uh, Ali Hassan was to try to pay to a God there. How will I have to pay for a card there at two and two? Because I gotta get out to the little spot, I, I, I start paying extra two. So you were able to pray in Hatim? Yes. Oh, mashallah. Yeah. yeah after, I got to taste the black stone too. Oh, mashallah. Black stone, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. It's a black stone. So, black stone is actually, uh, how is it? it's actually the one spot. You start your journey in a Makkah when you're starting your round, like a one, two, three. So the black stone is the one of the corner where you everybody start the first round from that direction. Okay? So you stand on that line along with this black stone in that direction. You start anti-clockwise, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven round. That's how you complete your tawaf. Uh, and the black stone, I mean like a Block stone is just a, this is a starting point. Oh. It's a sacred thing, but it's the mark at the starting point. Oh. After what, uh, what, uh, what uh, kind of the benefit is, you get to see, like, uh, how the times you got to, like, you get lost, you get to know, like, where, where are you, you know? And uh, one thing, I couldn't take a picture of Sefa Borla, but that experience was totally different. Sefa Borla, seven times back and forth, I just can't imagine how she did it. Here's some of the... Uh, I believe uh, this is the uh, Hadal El Madida. And this is from Bakta. Uh, it has the full version. Uh, I'll pause for a second. The thing you see, Habila, where all the sisters are in hijab in the cap. So that's one of the probably the benefit is, especially for guys, guys, you have no desire whatsoever.
this was uh, Accra travel. You went with them? Yeah, Accra. Accra. So, uh, what the normal package? Uh, do you know any rates? How, how okay, so actually, right now, I had the rates for, I think for the one right now in Ramzal, it's like $2,000. Okay. For Umrah? For Umrah? Umrah, yeah. Umrah. Oh. But with that, after I cleared the hotel, I cleared the air travel, and I think it's far too. You guys also take uh, to the Jerusalem? You have a trip to? That, I, that hotel have now, uh, but I was told, uh, that I recently got a the deal no. with them, they're trying to get it. Unfortunately, with Jerusalem, I think they were going to try to make a deal, uh, because, of course, uh, maybe the Shuyuk, they go on their own. Uh, we try to even offer the money. Do they, want, do they want to take the money to do it? So unfortunately, if the, if the scholar wants to go, Habila, you know. So who are the sheikh? Uh... So Habila, so actually, the one coming up is Thanksgiving. I really, I'm trying to really go again. Uh, this Thanksgiving is actually uh, by Yassi Do you have any question, anybody else? Just, I, I have one thing. Uh, this was taken by, by, by my roommate, mm -hmm. I can tell. Yeah. Also, in Mecca, Medina, then he have six azan, six azan, six time azan. Yeah, the tahajjud azan. Yeah, dude, the tahajjud azan is like, like, start crying. Imagine here. Yeah. Also, uh, create the expectations on this stuff. Uh, it's actually a budget level. Uh, also, one of the things, also, you, you get benefit of going with the child, uh, with the group. You have to go to uh, some tour sites. So, I think, <laughs> After I went to Bad Uhud, uh, that was the second battle in Islam. Uh, this is actually, uh, I also went to see Arafat's site, you know, it's really amazing. Uh, just, uh, just, just to walk up the hill so much, so I, 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 and unfortunately we don't have time limited, so we can do uh, the whole thing. Also, uh, this was taking out the bus, uh, this was actually Bela. Also, one thing, also one thing, I forgot about you, our group was 80 people. Oh, okay. Also, that was the Masjid Kuba, uh, which was the first mosque ever built after, uh, after, the, uh, after the, 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 the Medina. So, up there, that's Cave Hira. Okay. Does anybody know the history of about that? Yeah, that's the first uh, revelation. Uh, uh, stop it. Dallas? Oh, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, that's the first revelation. Like, that's what it is. Yeah. So, Kabbalah goes up there 3-4 times a day for revelation. That's, it just shows, it just shows how, like, this yeah, religion is like... a very like, strong person to go over there. Yeah, they it does. Very high. Yeah, and then nice. this ladies used to go, like, uh, Aisha radiallahu anh, no, it's his uh, elder sister. Um, uh, yes, yeah, she used to ask her, what, Asma, she used to go up there and take the food. Khadija radiallahu anh, she used to go up there. It is a lot of courage. Yeah, it's very difficult to uh, go on the Also, uh, it's funny, unfortunately our driver, uh, so the, uh, there were two buses, uh, one of the driver, uh, the drivers was a Pakistani, and the other one was, I think, I heard up, but the, the other one, so I ended up, I think, uh, the Sheikh chose me, so I, I lived the most Urdu, so I ended up doing the honor translation for the historic class. Oh, I see. Yeah. MashaAllah. Also, one of the benefits you see, you get to meet people all across the, the world that you haven't seen. I mean, some people I knew already there, but like, some people like, I saw people like, I haven't really like, some, some of the, like, some of the Shayuks that I, you know, it's like a worldwide meeting spot. Uh, uh, after, uh, this brother is Brother Omar from YP State. Uh, so I knew him before, but we, I haven't seen this guy for like um, two, three years. Somehow we ended up in the same time, same hotel, whatever. And that's about it. <laughs> Any questions? So when are you going to take us with you? Inshallah, <laughs> uh, Allah Ta'ala, <laughs> Um, I've actually worked on a deal for the Hubla. I think one of the things I want to try to get is uh, to our budget. 
uh, I was talking about Uber Jeep, but uh, about it already. I think uh, we might do it next year. Uh, if if it's able, uh, the, the cost is like about how the travel agent took to me directly. Look, they want to take a single dollar extra for their for their personal family. So Saad will make the minimum amount, and if people register with him, so he will make a deal with the uh, Ekra Travel, so that everybody get a discount price on that. Yeah, that's, that's right. So all of you, what's it going to do? How's it feeling? I spoke with a filler. Are you dead? Here, here. Let's go back to you. No picture on the foot. No pictures, okay. Here you go. Here, food. So how, uh, the, the hotel food was all right. I'm not used to it. Halal McDonald's, Halal, McDonald, halal <laughs> Burger King, Halal Junior, <laughs> Halal Pizza. Everything is halal over there. KFC. KFC. The KFC is pretty good actually. I think, yeah, what a good spot. It was called, what is it called? Uh, it's about the A. Uh, so no. you had a good accommodation, everything, you have no complaint. 24 hours we were able, yeah. That's uh, good. Class lived there. He been, I wish I was sleeping at Banca Medina. Your deal, your heart would not feel like it. How big was each one? It's actually three, four beds each. Okay, okay, of course. So, okay, so if you want to do a cheaper rate, uh, I got the cheapest rate, which I think 1,600. Uh, uh, that one had like four people. Of course, I think 1,700 is more, uh, 50 percent, two people, you know. How many days you guys stay? Uh, eight total. Eight, eight night? Medina and Mecca uh, and all those touring uh, tourist places you went there and it cost you total how much? Sixteen hundred. I mean, uh, the huh? whole, I mean uh, we're shopping? We're shopping right? No, 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 no. Just the travel. No, the first shopping is your personal club. All together. Over food? Food, accommodation, everything. Two thousand, one hundred? Two thousand. Yes, two thousand. So, okay, so. No, Indian flower? There was. I mean, one of the, I didn't even try, I mean, I tried one of the videos. I mean, I had to, I think Badila, well, and Badila, I think, the place that we ate for dinner, they had all type of food. So you, we had a free lunch. But they don't have any Indian food or something? They have, they have everything. Oh, okay. Also, uh, in Bakka, uh, the hotel that I stayed at, it has seven, seven hotels. They're like, the, I think it's the clock tower. We have like, with the office, the ball. One thing is, one thing I forgot to put there about PowerPoint is, uh, since she the camera for the first time, I start crying. But of course, one thing is, you have to walk. Like, literally, you have to walk to the camera. Like, literally, like, it's literally just layers after layers. It's like four layers. You have to walk. One thing, I said for my hotel room, it's like at least five million walk, four million walk backs. But in Madina, back on like a minute and a half. For Jubal Salaam, 11.30, like 11 o'clock. Madina, Bakka was... In Bakka, the whole yeah. thing was packed, but 11 o'clock. Oh yeah, were there any like, uh, like old buildings from like thousand years ago? No old buildings, nothing like that? Yeah. The house over there, the Prophet lived. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Yeah, he was born over there, I think. The house in front of the market. Yeah, yours. So, yeah. But so, is there any other buildings? Like I thought there's, uh, there's the graveyard. I forgot to mention that. There's the graveyard, is great. I thought there was the graveyard. Ahad, Jungle, uh, by the Battle of Ahad, Battle of Badr. And there's a lot of places in Makkah still that have original. The kit, yeah. Hey, little question over there. You have a question, eh? Not yet. Done. Okay. Jazakallah khair. MashaAllah, was a nice presentation. So, 